so Elsa was still saying that um, even some ministers they are still even struggling with the with the issue of forgiveness. You find that they are still having the issue of anger, the the, the anger issues. You find that you be like, um, oh, you know that I have the problem of oh, with anger. You know I have a, a a problem with with forgiving. I'm telling you, the enemy will use the same thing to attack you. The enemy will use the same thing to challenge you. He will use the same thing to challenge you. Because it will just be like, oh, this one is just wasting the time. Because he's trying to do all the services with God. But the issue with forgiveness is very difficult. You know, you can do so many services. It, it, it's like what the Bible says that you can prophesy, you can speak with much faith. But if you don't have love, you are absolutely nothing. So to prove that you 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 have love for others, it's when you have a forgiving heart. When you forgive others, for the the Bible says that love ca- ca- cover the multitude of sins. I'm telling you, when you talk about that, when it says that it covers the multitudes of sins, I'm telling you, it's something else. So it's saying that it, just for the because you love the person. Be just because you love people, you will find that you won't look what they at what they do. Yes, I know. You will be like, but it will be like we are giving them an advantage to to, or we are we are giving them chance to take advantage of us. You know, our duty is just to do everything in love. The Bible says that all nothing to anyone except the obligations of love that one is the only debt that we can have with one another that's what we owe for for one another so i'm telling you so i just want to to take you through the steps that um, can help you to forgive the steps that helps you on how to forgive the steps to help you to be able to forgive. The steps to to help you to be able to to forgive. Okay, firstly, let's let's read um, Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two. Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two. Uh, welcome brother welcome welcome um you are so much welcome give you warm welcome um, in the meeting um in the service um you can mute the mic please all right um so efficient chapter 4 verse 32 we are going through this, the steps on how we can forgive okay the, you know these steps i believe it will help you um to forgive that particular person that you have been wishing them to be hey i wish if they can die i wish if they can just pass away because these people all the time when i look at them they will they, they remind me of my pain okay so let's go to to efficient let's quickly go to okay efficient chapter 4 verse 32 chapter 4 verse 32 it reads like this instead be kind to each other tender-hearted forgiving one another just as god through christ has forgiven you hmm. you have heard the scripture let me read it again it says instead be kind to okay let let us start it from 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 verse 31 look at what 31 has he says that um get rid of all bitterness 
rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, and slander, slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. So, which means that um, the first point here, the first point, I want us to, to, to know that for you to be able to forgive, you must depend on God. You must depend on God. That's the first thing that you must be depending to. Because you know that you cannot forgive that particular person who has hurt you. You can for forgive those people who have hurt you if you are still trying to do it on your own. But if you depend on God, then you will find yourself doing it because there is the Holy Spirit who gives us the ability. The Bible in Luke 1 verse, 1 verse 37 says that we can do all things up. There is nothing that is impossible with God. There is nothing that is impossible. So if you can think that it's very impossible to forgive that particular person who has hurt you, I'm telling you it's very much possible. It's very much possible with God if you depend on him. So it's telling us that get rid of all the bitterness get rid of the rage rage it, it's a temper get rid of all the anger those harsh words the words that you say when you are angry when you're thinking about that particular person who has offended you the person who is who is holding an offense towards you you must get rid of all those things let them not be found in you instead be kind tender-hearted forgiving one another just as though christ has forgiven you so you see he has forgiven you he has forgiven you so okay we we have to understand something the bible says that if you like forgive so that the father has for, may forgive your sins okay so and then there is um that forgiveness of when you just accept salvation without even knowing anything then that's where that's that's the forgiveness that is revering you to but if you after you have received christ again and find that the forgiveness is still there you you, you the, the unforgiveness is still there in in your in your heart then it somehow it's like you take yourself back to uh, to 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 add uh, to, to to the sins to the world he has forgiven you. He has given you chance. But if you can open your heart and be like, okay, now I'm giving a chance to the enemy by, by this unforgiveness that can be in my heart, I'm telling you, that will be a challenge for you to be forgiven. That will be a challenge. So which means that we have to be depending on God so that we can be always forgiving. We can always be loving. I, I, I know most of the people, this world is has introduced the, the way this world has given the definition of forgiving and the love is not the same definition that the, the bible is talking about the, the the forgiveness of this world you find that you only forgive though the, the forgiveness that you have to give the person it it has to have conditions and somehow even when you have to forgive the person you have to only forgive those ones that you can be benefiting from that forgiveness but this one it's living i'm telling you it's not driven by the emotions so the second um we're still depending on god i want us to 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 to, to read jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. let's read it very quickly Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. So it reads like this. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. So he's saying that, Ask me and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not, you do not know about things to come. For this is what the Lord god of israel says you have torn down the houses of this city and even the king's palace to get materials to strengthen the walls against siege rams and the sword 
the swords of the enemy so i'm loving this scripture like in verse 3 where it's it's saying that um when saying that ask me and i will tell you you see it says that ask me and i will tell you depend on him ask him and say that lord how can i forgive how can i forgive and he will be the one who will tell you on that my son this is how you forgive my child this is how you forgive let go of that let go of the pain let go of the pain the second point is give your heart your head your 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 heart that that bitterness to god that that pain that wound ask god to heal it let's let's read um first john chapter 3 verse um verse 18 first john chapter 3 verse 18 so that head when you give it so which means that you don't depend on your feelings you don't depend on your feelings okay first john chapter 3 verse 18 he says that dear children let's not merely say that we love each other let us show the truth by our actions our actions will show that we belong to the truth so we will so we will be confident when we stand before god even if we feel guilty god is greater than our feelings and he knows everything listen to that is greater than our feelings so even when we feel like we cannot forgive he's able to help us to forgive so that pain that feeling that you can be feeling i'm telling you right now you can be like i, I can't let go of this person you can still forgive you can still forgive is very possible it's very possible so um these other steps um we will continue with them um next week um next week we will continue on them uh, on these other steps we will be coming with part two of forgiveness of forgiving on living a life full of forgiveness forgiving so my brothers and sisters i believe this will impact your lives you are going to to set free those people who have been suffering who have been struggling they are trying some of them they are trying to get back to god but you are still holding them because of what they have done to you if they approach you grant them forgiveness some of them if they they still haven't admitted that they are wrong because most of the people they, they they have pride even that they won't even sorry approach you and say that i'm sorry forgive me for your sake go to god and say that lord i'm bringing this person mention their names lord i'm struggling to forgive this person and this person is does not want to to admit i have approached the person to say that you have offended me but the person is it seems like it's continue he or she is continuing on doing the same thing i'm telling you just go to god and ask god he will help you to forgive that particular person jesus christ when he was being crucified he says that lord forgive them for they don't know what they do hallelujah so which means that let's just just forgive our forgiveness let it be unconditional our forgiveness let it let it not be with some conditions the conditions the standards that has to be there it is to be the standard that is being ruled by the justice of god the righteousness of god you have to show that you belong by to the truth by showing your love by actions forgive those pray for those who persecute you pray for those who hate you pray for those who who, who does even the people who ignores you the people who, who can just be doing whatever that they might be doing something that brings pain to you i'm telling you you can still be that person 
was loving to them. So I believe this is going to impact your life, my brothers and sisters. Um, let us pray as we are going to close this. If you have any questions concerning the the, the, the this um, unforgiveness, you can um, you can ask. Um, I know that this video it will go to it will also be on on the YouTube. So you can ask even on the comments, or you can even ask just um, personally or following the contact that you can see on the on the posters, um, so that you may understand more on living a life of love, full of love, um, and um, on how to 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 really really forgive. You see, because I know that most of the people they just pretend as if they've sought their their issues with some people but they're still struggling with those unforgiveness so i believe you will be blessed let us pray as we are closing this session by prayer heavenly father we thank you jesus in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you lord yes you have spoken with us this evening about forgiveness about forgiving lord that we have to forgive, Lord, those who sinned against us, Almighty Father. As your word, Almighty Father, it has instructed us, Almighty Father, that when we forgive those who have sinned against us, then you will also forgive us, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we honor you, we exalt your name, we glorify your holy name. There's none like you, there's no one can be compared with you. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your holy name. Amen. Well, um, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord touch you. I believe that is going to impact your lives by this um, message. I believe that is going to lift you. So we are still going to be sharing um, some um, few points again on forgiveness. Um, next week as we continue uh, on the second part of forgiveness so stay blessed thank you thank you very much